Welcome back to Zesty's Recipes. Tonight I've decided to put on my special mask that our friend Sarah made for us. Um, you can't see it. It's, uh, it's me on a unicorn float in a pool. It's pretty cool. Anyhow, tonight we're making a very special dish. It's not your standard issue vodka frita that you get at a Cuban restaurant. It's vodka frita de pollo. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to poach this chicken, we're going to shred it up, we're going to put it with some delightful onions, and then we're going to pan fry it. This is one of my all-time favorite dishes, and it's soon to be one of yours. Let's get in the kitchen. All right, the beauty of this recipe is it's going to be done in one, two, three. You start out with one, poaching the chicken. So we've laid our chicken breast down in the bottom of a Dutch oven. We're gonna go ahead and throw uh, about a half of an onion down in there. Get a little onion. Ah, very nice. And a bay leaf. We're gonna cover it with some chicken broth. Just to the top of the chicken. Oof, it's gonna be some great poaching going on there. And we're gonna do a few dashes of salt. Give that some flavor right out of the gates. Okay, slap it to high, click, click, boom. Want to get it to a boil, and then at that boiling point, we're gonna do something special. Okay, we just came to a boil. Gonna go ahead and lower this to a nice simmer. And you guys, don't boil on up. All right. We're gonna let this simmer for 20, 25 minutes. I check in on it around 15 minutes to see where the temperature's at. Uh, I want it to get to around 160, 165. Um, during this time, I'm gonna go chop up some onions and come back to you when the chicken's ready. Hey guys, <laughs> um, the, the chicken's gotten to 165, so we're gonna take it out, the, uh, out of the simmer and lay it on the plate. Let this cool down to room temperature so we can start shredding. Mm. All right, we're on to step two. Easy enough, shred your chicken. I like to use two forks. You can also do this by hand. Kind of want to go with the grain on some and against the grain on some. There's no real science to it. At the end of the day, we just want some nice shredded chicken. Uh, hey, me, King. What are you doing now? All right, we've got our shredded chicken, we've got our sliced onions, and we've got our store-bought mojo. I like store-bought mojo. You're welcome to make your own, but um, store-bought mojo is really good. So what we're gonna do now, this is just too easy, you guys. Just too easy. Slap our chicken in there. Slap our onions in there. There you go, little guys. A little shake on the mojo. Just pour it on top. It's about two cups. Can't really go over or under on that. Make sure it coats everything. That's the biggest part. And I choose a, uh, excuse me, sorry, that was loud. Choose a Tupperware that I can just shake it up, shake it up, uh, uh, shake it up. All right. Let 
this rest for about 20 minutes. All right, we've made it to step three. It's time to finalize this dish. We've got our onions, chicken, and mojo. It's been marinated for 20 minutes. I'm gonna put it in this pan with a couple tablespoons of uh, oil and let it fry for five, six minutes. Let's, let's watch this happen, y'all. Oh my goodness. What a delight. As this rests in the pan, don't touch it. We're looking for caramelized onions and nice charred chicken. Let that sit for five, six minutes. <laughs> what are you doing? Flipping that meat. Right about five, six minutes. Give it another four. Moving on to batch two. Add a bit more oil. Batch one is delicious. Let's go ahead and throw this in here. Get this sizzling. Once again, another five, six minutes. Mmm, mmm. Oops, I forgot about the most important step. Step four, eating. The vodka frita de pollo is fried to perfection and here are all the sides that the zesties enjoy to serve with it. We've got our rice, we've got our beans, we've got our plantains, we've got our fried cheese, mmm. We've got our ensalada. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do.